right, what's up guys? This is uh, my bow workshop where I pile all my shit. As you can see, I've got my bow laid up, junk bench, whatever you call it. And I've got all my elk hunting stuff, some whitetail stuff, but mostly my elk. Got my XO pack, my uh, tote that I carry all my stuff in. I leave it in the bed of the truck uh, so we can always have extra supplies. All my sleeping bags. I've got two, sh one shitty one, one that I've had forever, then my big Agnes is behind there. Pete, my crispies. Crispy boots, best in the game. Love them, wouldn't wear another brand. I've got all my first light gear right here. I've got way too much of that. I'll tell you what though, first light gear has kept me super comfortable out there and it's its way right in all my white tail stuff too. And I also probably wouldn't wear any other clothes besides first light. Call it what it is, yeah, it's expensive, but it's also super sick. I'm gonna run you through my bow setup, my very simple bow setup. Uh, we leave for Idaho in about 30 days, public land, over the counter elk hunt. Finally got a tag before they sold out. Last year we got shut out because the tag sales, but not this year because I bought my tag. Probably two days after uh, tags went up for sale. So a couple of people weren't so lucky. My brother Mike, I don't know what to tell you. He missed it, everyone missed it. So here's my bow setup. I'm running the Carbon Air, or no, the PSE Carbon Stealth Mach 1. Um, it's a 32 inch ATA bow. Uh, I used to run longer bows, now I'm more in the 32s, but I'm running ABB Platinum Strings on here. Shout out to ABB for always hooking me up, and I think they're the best strings in the game. Now I'm shooting the Hamsky Hybrid Hunter, which is a sick rest. I've been shooting it for years, and I'm gonna run my draw cord through my cable splitter like the Dudley Edition. As you can see, First Light Fusion Camo, shooting the Spot Hog Fast Eddy. Uh, this sight is literally bulletproof. Literally, I've dropped that thing out of a tree, and I really mean that. I really did drop it out of a tree once. I've got the Shrewd 8 inch Raid Stabilizer. Um, stabilizers out west, I don't know, people get crazy anymore and running sidebars, and I used to, thought I was Levi Morgan. I'm actually not Levi Morgan. One bar is plenty for me. It's way lighter. Don't sacrifice any accuracy. I can go out right now and shoot an 80 or 90 yard group. And I don't feel like a sidebar would benefit me that much. The extra weight for what you're doing is necessary. Got tight spot quiver. That's also the best quiver in the game. It's so tight to your riser. It's dope. It's like it's not even there. Arrow setup. Arrow setups is always a hot topic when it comes to elk. I think everyone overcomplicates arrow setups. Everyone just puts a shit ton of weight up, up up front. FOC, test it and see what it actually does. I'm not that guy. Um, I'm running a 100 grain broadhead, which I'll get to right after I show you this arrow. 100 grain broadhead on a deep impact uh, Black Eagle, a Max Hunter Veins, kind of the same setup I've been using. That arrow is 450 grains on the dot. Borderline too heavy for me, to be honest with you. I just don't believe in super heavy arrows. I don't believe for them for whitetail. I don't believe in them for elk either, for that matter. I think that arrow right there at 450 grains can kill anything in North America. Again, that's my opinion. I've got experience shooting a pile of deer with some super light arrows. Most people wouldn't shoot, but I just don't think that giving up speed to get more, uh, I don't know, more power behind it, that's what I'm looking for. Kinetic energy, kinetic energy behind it. You know, sometimes if you do the mass, sometimes the lighter arrow or the heavier arrow actually doesn't hit as hard as the lighter arrow at faster speeds. And that's always been my philosophy. Usually I shoot Slick Trick Magnums. Schwacker was gracious enough to send me these this year. So I'm gonna shoot those, the Razor 254s. I actually didn't order these 262s, it was my mistake, but um, I thought I ordered two packs of these these apparently not so i'm actually going to shoot both of these and see which ones i like better I kind of like these more because they're a full stainless kind of more of a one piece i'm excited to try those i'm gonna see how they tune i've never had any issues tuning really fixed broadheads i've had some that shot like shit but not many so that's basically my whole setup this is where i do all my work at we're gonna do a what's in your pack video and we're gonna load up my exo and i'm gonna show you guys how i load it uh, why i load it that way and just my experience over the years backpack hunting um, i've got some years under my belt doing it now i'm not really a newbie to it anymore and i feel super comfortable Comfortable with what I've got and in this bottom drawer here I know exactly what's going to go in my pack I come here the year prior put it away this time of year I break it back out I fine-tune it I order a couple things if I need it I always add something goofy but always buy something I'm just kind of add to my pack but it's gonna be a super dope video I think everyone's gonna enjoy so as always uh, like the video subscribe to the channel and share thanks guys appreciate it Nothing ever stopped me from dusting off my shoes.